Guys, I believe you are doing heartily well as we speak. Bola Metinimbu is in Saudi Arabia and he has just made a statement that is so indictful. And you know, a lot of persons have started saying that this statement this man made has just caused so much curiosity in the minds of the international world. Recall that you know, Bola Metinimbu is in Saudi Arabia for a world economic forum and in that place he was asked numerous questions and of which this fuel subsidy question is what he was asked and you need to see exactly what he stated you need to see the response he gave to a simple question he's just supposed to answer straightly and the reasons why the fuel subsidy was removed during his inauguration on that very day he stated subsidy is removed without even checking the contingencies and the regularities and other you know policies that could hinder that policy not to hold now he has removed subsidy now the economic world summit he went in saudi arabia he was asked a very clear question and what he said will definitely shock and has shocked nigerians but before i begin to show you exactly and review what Bola Metinimbu gave as a response to the question he was asked why was subsidy removed in saudi arabia stay put watch what this subsidy removal has now caused Look at how Nigerians are facing severe hardship. We are not talking about the level of high rate of commodity in the market. Now, if you go to a fuel station to get petrol, this is exactly what you see. You actually get to do what you call trade by butter. Is either you get a commodity before you are being sold a petrol in that fuel station. Watch and when we come back, we'll continue. See, I don't really understand what's going to happen for this total like this because how on earth I go come? They go come they tell me say I must buy meat pie before I buy fuel. You rubbish for lele buy. You must go buy meat pie before you buy fuel. Is this place open for a meat pie or open for a fuel station? Eh? You rubbish for lele. Ah, more borrow lele Rio. This is total filling station. Do trying shit. With the masses that we have to buy meat pie before we buy for what kind of insult? Rubbish, Lele. Now, continue with what? And they were proud of incontention. This is total rubbish. Yes, I believe you have seen exactly what is happening. That a young man went to a police station to get fuel that he's going to consume for his vehicle, and he was asked and mandated that he should buy a meat pie before. This is exactly one of the reasons why the international world is even putting up a question to Bola Metinimbu. Why was subsidy removed? Because if subsidy was removed to caution the you know the, the, the high rate of commodity and also to reduce the expenditure in this particular country, then the masses will not be faced with this severe suffering. Now look at what is happening. That you went with your own money to buy a commodity and to buy fuel in a, in a station and you are mandated that you are going to what? buy meat pie that is you're going to buy something to get petrol and this has not dilapidated a lot of persons and they have reacted towards these policies now i'm going to be showing you reactions of what nigerians are stating concerning this response bola metinimbu has just stated in saudi arabia now as you could see on your screen bola metinimbu is in saudi arabia for that economic you know forum and he was asked outrightly why was subsidy removed and how are you working about the modalities and you know contingencies of making sure that this uh, policy that you remove that subsidy is cautioned now look at what bola metinimbu stated he said that fuel subsidy removal was necessary for nigeria not to go bankrupt now the reason why bola metinimbu removed subsidy in the country is because he does not want nigeria to go bankrupt and this is details of what he stated. President Bola Metinimbo has insisted, insisted that his administration decision to remove the petrol subsidy was very necessary to prevent the country from going bankrupt. So, and he was asked, why was this subsidy removed? Did you check the contingencies? Did you check the policy if it is going to caution the high rate of prices in the market? Did you check the modalities? What are your gatherings before you remove this subsidy? This is the response he actually gave. He said, concerning the question of the subsidy remover, there is no doubt that it was a necessary action for my country not to go bankrupt, to reset the economy and pathway to growth. And Bola Metinibu made this statement. You know, this statement shocked Nigerians. A lot of Nigerians started reacting. So this was actually the reason why you actually removed subsidy and brought hardship. 
an increase with actually all commodities in the market and Nigerians are going to the nail to feed three square meal a day. And now the international world is not seeing this response as not even tangible enough for you to have removed subsidy. Notwithstanding that even as the subsidy was removed, the high rate of commodity is still high, prices are still high, unemployment is still high, insecurity is still high, a lot of contingencies and a lot of things are happening within and outside this country. And look at reactions that started coming out from prominent Nigerians. And does it seem like Nigeria isn't bankrupt already? How do you explain the extreme poverty being experienced by the masses? The suffering is much, sir. We were not prepared for this level of woe. You promised us a new Nigeria. We are yet experienced the hope you promised us. We are still not gaining anything here. We are still at the receiving end. Why the government can dance around with millions of dollars even to pay fees in advance? And he is referring to Iabelo's case with the EFCC. This other reaction from no cap stated, one dollar is one thousand plus. PMS is still six hundred plus. Cup of rice is five hundred. Minimum wage is still thirty thousand. Agriculture is still lower than thirty percent. School fees is outrageous. Foreign reserve is still at its lowest. At its lowest. Transportation sector is still by. Nigerians are still kidnapped. Nigerians masses are suffering. All in the name of this subsidy removal. This reaction from Joseph stated the same subsidy you went against twenty twelve just for your own political gains. Ibrahim stated, but Erufai said you are still paying subsidy. And if not, where, where is the fund meant for subsidi subsidies going to then? Larry stated, if I may ask, sir, what has been the benefit since it's removed being the subsidy? Poverty, many Nigerians can't eat well. They can't pay school fees or rent. The reply Bola Metinimbu adroitly gave to panelists and other international observers in Saudi Arabia over this economic forum that they had. And he stated that bankruptcy was one of the reasons he removed subsidy, that he does not want the country to go bankrupt, notwithstanding that some politicians, likes of, you know, uh, Yabelo has embezzled um, uh, so, so much amount of money. So many politicians that are in the EFCC is a reigning have embezzled so much amount of money, yet, he is stating that he removed subsidies so that Nigeria will not go bankrupt. React on the comment section. What is your take on what Bola Metinimbu has just stated in Saudi Arabia? What is your take on this? 